situation, scenario. It's the end times, the apocalypse. You've survived long enough to get to the water. Maybe you're there fishing, perhaps uh, just having a break. You need to get down under the water. You need to go salvage. But the guy that you're looking after, the bodyguard -y, can't dive. What are you gonna do? So we're getting on a boat that's gonna take us to the boat that we're staying on. So basically this is our boat boat. This is our boat boat. It's our introductory boat. And we get to stop on an boat island. 101. Boat 101. Maybe. Introduction to boat. Today we are flipping the script. So usually Bernie sends me out to do something crazy like uh, sniper school or going into the woods to eat plants, sure. But today I'm in charge <laughs> and I'm sending him to do something crazy. We are at the Great Barrier Reef. It's all around us and I'm teaching Bernie how to go scuba diving. This, we're uh, out here with Ken's dive group on the Kangaroo Explorer and it's kind of amazing. It's this like, liveaboard boat that has, has a lot of character to it <laughs> um, but the crew here are absolutely incredible they make amazing food they take you out and like uh, show you all the different dive sites and navigate that for you it's it's a really awesome experience this is an eco dive center because they teach you how to not only see the stuff but how to look after it too uh, trick for that go up the lake first are you ready I'm ready. We're about to go do our discovery dive where we'll be breathing with a tank for the first time. Mm -hmm. And then we have to test three different skills. Yeah. And uh, I feel confident. So there is a moment though when you start to descend that your body starts going, nope. So I have scuba dove, mm -hmm. scuba dive, divin, divin, scuba dive uh, in the past. And uh, yeah, there is a moment when you go under the surface of the water and you're breathing through a tube that your body goes, this is not for you. This is not your environment. You're in a terrible, terrible place and you're an idiot. And it tries to make you get out. And then you just have to kind of power through that. So yeah. we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Uh -huh. and, uh, so we'll see. Yeah. I saw your face when we were having our dive briefing. 
and they're like, it does provide some existence, so it's not as easy to breathe. And right, like, that's exactly cool. what you want in a breathing hose. It's a slight <laughs> bit of resistance. You gotta work for it, you know? uh -huh. otherwise it's not worth it. <laughs> I'm excited. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, uh, snorkels too. are kind of annoying, so oh. not having snorkels would be great. I'm gonna see how you guys fare under the water. Thanks. This is something that can like one-up you on. Oh yeah, this is, <laughs> Ellie is the one now has the master in the title. So we saw, we saw a big turtle and uh, lots of colorful fish. And I now know why a parrotfish is called a parrotfish because it looks like it's got a beak. But like you can see it, it's so shallow here. You can see it really well. Now yeah. Too. That's the Great Barrier Reef, yo!
Yeah. All right, so it is uh, it is 6 a.m. 5.30 a.m. 5.30 a.m. and we are heading out for our last day. We're doing dives at 6 a.m. and we're doing dives at 8 a.m. <laughs> that says it all. I'm staying on the boat for this uh, dive session because this morning when we went out at like six o'clock uh, I couldn't like I was having trouble equalizing one of my ears I could equalize uh, my right ear but not my left one uh, and so I'm giving myself a little bit of a break before the final dive and uh, the staff have advised hot tea check peppers check so uh, I'm drinking hot stuff and eating hot stuff it's supposed to be a decongestant, really like clear everything out. So hopefully, on the next dive, uh, I equalize properly. There's now a sign about uh, flying drones. What? You no, know, you're not allowed to fly a drone on the boat unless you have permission of the captain. And the date on the thing is today. The date on the sign. New Where? sign. Where? Where's the sign? It's right inside the door, right there, right on the other side of the bed. We got permission from the captain then. So now you know how to scuba dive. I know how to screw that now. So the inspiration from this was kind of World War Z, right? A little bit. Yeah, so in the in the book World War Z there's a whole chapter or two dedicated to people who make their way out to the ocean and they live on the seas. In fact, in Fear the Walking Dead, there's also the, the main characters on the on a boat as well. Like, yeah. I mean, it's otherwise, and you have to also live and deal with zombies that are walking along the ocean floor. Just do you think they do you think they do that? Oh, they yeah, just they do walk that. along the ocean floor? No, it's not, but I'm, one thing I was really surprised about on the trip was I've always kind of envisioned that when I'm in the water, and then I realize there's a shark in the water with me. Mm -hmm. I've always been, like been afraid of that moment. Thought I'm gonna really freak out when that happens. And so we were in here. We actually saw a shark. My reaction wasn't one of fear at all. It was just like go towards the shark. Like I just started swimming towards it. Like come back, shark. I want to see you. You know. And it's like that was two or three different times it happened. I totally, totally did not expect to have that reaction. No. Shark. Yeah. You thought you'd be like hell, fucking no. no. Really yeah, cool. so now when you go to get certified, they'll be like, oh, these guys are pros. No, what will happen is when the apocalypse happens, and I'll say, Ellie, you need to go get some fish out of the water, and you'll be, you know how to do this. You do <laughs> well, it's 8.20, and we're all about to pass out because we've been getting up at 5.30 for the last two days. We want to thank Hands Diving Company. 
And specifically, let's see if we can, yeah, CDC. And it's, we want to thank Alex, the boatmaster. Yep. Fern, the skipper. Yes. Emmy, the hostie. Emmy was great. Tom, Tom, the engine guy, Gandalf. Tom slash Gandalf, the engine guy. And our dive master, Chris, and Nina. And there's Grayson. And our instructor, Grayson. Grayson. Yep. And who else have we got? Everyone that made that such Did you say burn the skipper? I did say burn the skipper. Quick hand signal. What's that? This is a Mori eel. <laughs> it's a Mori eel. This is a clownfish. What's this? This is a turtle. Yeah. Uh, well, Do you, uh, this is a barracuda. Shark? Shark? Oh my god. Big shark? Big fucking shark? <laughs> What's a mermaid? <laughs> Triggerfish? Pew pew. <laughs> Triggerfish are mean. Pufferfish? I'm gonna give you I'm, I'm not gonna We didn't see right. any. You didn't see clam? Meep meep. Fish has not They didn't really distinguish between types of sharks. They just go, mm, and point, and everyone's like, ooh. I will swim towards that. All right, so we had a great time diving. We had a that great, was great. But we had a great time diving. We had a great time diving. <laughs> we had a great time diving. <laughs> it was rad. And uh, Ellie, the dive master, was a great guide for us while we went on this adventure. So thank you, Ellie, and cheers, cheers. to a successful you adventure. You amazing. And now, at the end times, we can live offshore. If we want to. It's our choice. It's our choice. It's good to have options. Oh, great. Great. These are our new friends. I'm gonna go up to these guys. See you later.